Tyler has been a part of our class for nine years, since joining in kindergarten. He plays soccer, baseball, plays the trumpet, and performs in the play each year. This year, Tyler played Mufasa in The Lion King. He portrayed a loving dad while being an intimidating king, playing the role perfectly. He demonstrated his acting range while seamlessly shifting from scaring hyenas to playfully fighting with his son, Simba. Do you remember the song, They Live In You? The one where all the lights went out and you couldn't see anybody? And there were little flashing lights all over the place and you couldn't see anybody? and there was singing, and you still couldn't see anybody? That person you couldn't see singing? Yep, that was Tyler. Tyler is also an amazing athlete. Starting for the both soccer and baseball teams, Tyler is a great example of a successful student athlete. It also seems like Tyler has a Frisbee super glued to his hand. He plays at snack, lunch, P.E. Wait a minute. I have a sneaky suspicion. Hey, Kevin, can you do me a favor and check under Tyler's chair for me? <laughs> Just as I suspected. Tyler is one of the kindest and most inclusive people I know. He will talk and joke around with everyone, students and teachers alike. Tyler's sense of humor and determination are essential for surviving middle school. It's also safe to say that Tyler did more than survive. He made the most of his time here in middle school and hit it out of the park. Please welcome Tyler to the stage. Good morning, Good morning faculty, faculty, students, and friends. First, I would like to thank you for the great honor of speaking here today. I can't believe this year has come to an end so fast. It felt like yesterday that we were a bunch of nervous students at convocation, unsure with what the year would bring. However, over the course of the year, our class has grown into the responsibility that comes with being eighth graders. As daunting as it looks, we are all ready to take on the challenge of high school if we simply stay together and put our best efforts into everything we do. One of my favorite aspects about Moses Brown is that it offers many opportunities for its students to connect with their teachers. Team trips are a great example of this because they require students and teachers to bond together. Two years ago, on the Team One trip to the Nature's Classroom, I distinctively remember Carolyn Chase giving me a mint and assuring me that it was a pill for my upset stomach. This somehow made me feel better by convincing my brain that the mint would help. I still don't know how you managed to pull that one off, Carolyn. Last year, I went on the Team 3 trip to Connecticut. I will always laugh at the memory of a sleepy Graham Holland swinging open our bedroom door at 2 a.m. to find six very awake boys dancing and throwing the football. As his eyes widened, we instantly shut off the lights, dove into our beds, and all tried to convince him with fake, groggy voices that we had been sleeping the whole time and he had just woken us up. This year, I went on the Team 2 trip to New Hampshire. The most challenging part of the trip was the treacherous hike up Mount Chakura. About an hour and a half into the hike, when my friends and I were in dire need of a nap, we saw an enormous lone mountain emerge far in the distance. My friends and I joked, at least we don't have to hike up that mountain. Then skills unfortunately told us that yes, we were indeed hiking up that mountain. I would say now that the view is worth it, but at that moment I would have rather done literally anything else. Okay, maybe not anything, I would much rather take the hike than having to experience the embarrassment of telling John Gold that the term adaptation is like, you know, when you adapt and stuff. <laughs> Other than team trips, one of my favorite opportunities we have been given is the chance to participate in the middle school musical. This year we performed The Lion King Jr., which was the first theatrical performance in the Woodman Center. The cast members were incredibly supportive of each other and because of the efforts of our wonderful director, tech crew, and costume department, we were able to put together an amazing performance. Extracurriculars like this are reinforced by an incredible community. The smallest things that the community promotes, such as calling teachers by their first names, creates, creates a welcoming environment where we aren't intimidated by our teachers. 
I have grown quite fond of having 45 minutes every week to center ourselves in meaningful worship and sit in silence. Each class feels like one group working together, which lowers the feeling of competi competition between students. This combination of teamwork and community creates an environment where you feel safe, valued, and appreciated. As I pass the podium over to Ella, I would like to say some final words to my fellow classmates. You all have grown so much, whether it's on the field, on the stage, or in the classroom. Many of us have grown up together since we were very young, and I want to say how thankful I am to be part of this amazingly talented class. To the new students that, that who came this year, I haven't experienced what it's like to be the new kid in a very long time, but I would like to congratulate you for seamlessly joining this class and bringing something new to the table. To the students who are moving on from Moses Brown, it doesn't matter where you go, we will always be here for each other. And to the class of 2022, don't worry too much about exams and enjoy middle school as a class. And finally, I would like to thank the teachers of middle school and lower school for guiding us all the way up to this moment. Thank you and congratulations everyone. We did it.